Welcome to the SunPower Equinox Pro Tips video. This video demonstrates how to manage the trunk cable for Type-E AC modules. Before we begin, please heed this safety warning. This can be hazardous work and should only be performed by qualified persons. Let's get started. The tools and materials you'll need include a tape measure, diagonal cutters, and trunk cable. Trunk cable comes packaged with 240 connectors, each with 2 meters of cable in between. The connectors are numbered so you can easily calculate how many you need. You also need zero degree frame clips, used for managing cable parallel to the Invisimount frame. Finally, you will need exactly zero zip ties to manage your Type-E AC cable. You know who you are. Keep in mind that every installation is different and what follows is SunPower's guidelines for managing the cable on Type-E AC modules. If the end result is a clean and tidy install with no cable touching the roof, feel free to chart your own path here. Refer to the circuit layout and begin by counting out the number of connectors you need. Then cut the trunk cable with the diagonal wire cutters. On the roof, roughly stage the cable along the rails. Again, refer to the circuit layout to ensure the trunk cable is staged correctly. Back on the ground, prepare the module with the frame clips. For a portrait orientation, position the module so you are facing the back sheet with the module J box at the top. Install three zero degree frame clips. Place one clip approximately 13 inches from the left edge of the module frame. Place another clip approximately 13 inches from the right edge of the module frame. And now place a third clip about one and one quarter inches from the left edge of the module frame. For modules installed in a landscape orientation, follow the same procedure but use the following guidelines for the zero degree frame clips. 18 inches from the left and right edges and one and one quarter inches from the left edge. Once the frame clips have been placed and the cable has been staged, the modules are ready to be installed. For more information on attaching modules to rails, please see Equinox Pro Tips Attaching Modules to Rails. Back on the roof, place the module on the rails in its approximate location. Tilt the module on its side to access the microinverter. Using your fingertips, carefully raise the microinverter from its transport position. You will hear an audible click when the microinverter reaches its operational position. Do not proceed until you have successfully raised the microinverter. Now plug the trunk cable connector into the microinverter. Again, you will hear a click when the connector engages. Lay the module flat and attach it to the rails. Once all the modules in a row are connected and attached to the rails, the trunk cable can now be secured using the frame clips. In this diagram, dress the cable for each module in the sequential order indicated. As you can see here, for most panels the incoming cable is supported by one or two clips and the exiting cable is supported by one or two clips. Where the cable runs from one row to another or where the cable terminates in the rail mounted J box, fewer clips may be needed. Working across the row, pull the slack out of the trunk cable and secure it in each of the frame clips before moving to the next module. Check for loose or hanging wires as you go. The cable must be managed so that there are no droops or sags. In no instance should the trunk cable contact the roof. A good pro tip here is to carry extra frame clips in your tool bag, just in case additional support is needed. When you have successfully managed the trunk cable for a single row, install the modules for the next row in the array. Continue working across sequential rows, securing the trunk cable in the frame clips until you reach the last module in the circuit. The cut end of the trunk cable on the last module of the last row is connected to the home run cable in the rail mounted junction box. Please see Equinox Pro Tips Installing the Rail Mounted Junction Box for more details on this process. Finally, we must secure the cut end of the trunk cable on the first module placed in the array. This cut end requires a terminator to end the circuit. Please see Equinox Pro Tips Terminating Type-E Circuits for more information on this process. Simply place two zero degree frame clips along the edge of the module frame. Secure the terminated trunk cable in the clips, making sure that the cable does not sag or contact the roof. And that's how to properly manage your trunk cable for a clean and tidy install. Thanks for watching this video. To learn more, check out the description below for links to helpful resources and other training videos.